Congratulations on, on being named in the squad today. How does it feel? Oh, it's, um, yeah, it's quite, ama like, quite amazing experience. Really. Um, I know it's kind of just a stepping stone. And it's just uh, kind of a bit of kit and a bit of paper. But um, no, it's been something that's been, been kind of driving towards for the last kind of 10 years of my life, really. Um, so no, it's great to be, be named in the team. I'm looking forward to getting out there and performing. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you're, you're part of a sort of a, a 12 um, with with the eights and, and twos and, and the spares. Does that mean there's a, there's a little bit more pressure on going into the, the final World Cup event uh, next week? I think we put a bit of pressure on ourselves, especially in the eight after the last two World Cups, uh, looking to kind of bounce back from those and we definitely know we're capable of more. So there's pressure on ourselves for that. Um, in terms of the other guys, I mean, there's two pairs that should be named um, for that. They'll be racing off for selection. So for them, there's a huge amount of pressure on that. And what happens after that, we're not entirely sure. So I mean, the results it will depend on what happens between those two pairs. Um, but for us in the eight, we've just got to perform to our, our best ability. Yeah, and how pleased are you with how the season's gone so far? Yeah, it's been a bit different to the last last couple of years. I mean, uh, 2014 was very much up and down, and lots of people in and out of the boat. Uh, and I mean, we really got it right just at the end of one. Uh, last year, we were just set from the start and we had a really good run of results. This year's been a bit more challenging. Um, obviously, with the Olympic year, I think it's a little bit earlier. Um, but I think we've done some really good stuff in training, the boat's going really well. So I think we've just got to try and replicate that in, in the World Cups and get some more more races under our belts at a very high level. But I mean, it's, it hasn't been the best season so far. I mean, it's been a long time since we have a medal in a, in a World Cup. But uh, I think if you look back at history, the Olympic year, it's not about the World Cups, it's about the Olympic Games. So uh, we're always keep focusing towards that and hopefully we'll get it right on the day. Yeah, and how do you think, what is the aim for the for the Olympics? The aim's always got medal. Um, <clears throat> when you're part of this team and the success it's had over the years and the athletes we've got here, uh, you can't look past that really. Um, we put the pressure on ourselves, put the expectation on ourselves, um, but it's going to take us another case of it. So a gold medal is, is the goal. Um, obviously, uh, if, 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 they a, if they have a good performance and it's not good enough, then that's what it is. If, but if we perform the best of our ability, that's uh, so all we can ask for. Yeah, you've got a good sort of mix, I guess, of sort of new people and yeah. experience in your boat. How valuable are people like Pete Reed, Andrew Triggs, Hodge, who have won the, the last two Olympic Games? Oh, it's, it's really good to have them in the boat. Um, they do bring a bring in a sense of kind of uh, experience really. They had done it all before, so very calm heads in the boat. And it's great to have the guys uh, from London in the eight as well and the pair bonds men this they've got so much hunger for to kind of improve on that. Uh, it's a really good combination. And the new guys as well were it's all a bit you know, a fresh face for us and we're just kind of getting stuck in. So I think it's a really good combination at the moment. Um, and hopefully it'll lead to some good performances on the water. Yeah, you've uh, you've been to Rio before as a sort of, uh, training session, I think. How much are you looking forward to, to going back there to to be actually competing and being in the yeah. athletes' village and that sort of thing? I hasn't, we haven't really, uh, haven't thought that far ahead yet, really. Um, there's all these stepping stones along the way uh, today. The selection is amazing, and then we've got the World Cup just kind of just ten days away. So for me, I'm just looking at it step by step. But obviously, the location in Rio and it being the Olympic Games is gonna it's gonna be just an amazing experience. Um, I think it could probably be one of those things that I think about afterwards of we'll taking it all in and how amazing it was. But up until the final and finish race, I think it's just gonna be another day in the office really. Um, yeah. looking down the track, it's just another it's only two thousand meters. So uh, I think that's the best way to get the best out of ourselves. Um, but I'm sure it's just gonna be quite an amazing spectacle. A lot of athletes have sort of raised concerns about Zika virus and that kind of thing. Have, have you uh, thought too much about that? Uh, no, not really. For me, most of the kind of problems occur, but it's not an imminent problem. Um, if I get stopped by a mosquito, it's not going to stop me racing my final. Uh, but obviously, there are some problems there. Um, all the work the BOA have done, all the, the scientists behind, any advice we've given, just try and kind of do that the best of our ability to protect ourselves and uh, it's not going to affect performance on the water, that's for sure. So, uh, yeah, it is a risk out there, obviously, but we're going to do our best in order to 
kind of protect ourselves. Yeah, will you have sort of family and, and friends out there and supporting uh, you? Hopefully, yeah. I've mean, got some friends who are pretty uh, keen to get out there. It's not the easiest place to get to, so. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think uh, it'd be just great to have a couple of people there who, who want to go. But I think most of my family will probably be watching it from the safety of uh, TV, and I've got some quite hardly grandparents and stuff, so hopefully uh, they'll be allowed to watch that as well. So that, that'd be great to know they're uh, watching and supporting. And, and if you are to get that gold medal, what will be key? Uh, um, it's hard to hard to say really. I mean, like I said, it's one of those things where I'll just it'll kind of take a while to sink in I imagine and it'll be a little bit of a relief I think whatever happens crossing the line it'll be a, a lot of relief just because it is four years of our life we put into this and whether you get it right or get it wrong it, it, there's nothing else after that moment so um, to get, come away with a gold medal would be pretty spectacular you know, to do it there as well in, in there would be amazing but, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, obviously you started this journey sort of four years ago, really. I suppose after London 2012, just yeah. give me an idea of how sort of grueling it's been and yeah, how much been, work you've had to put into it. Oh, it's, it is very hard work. The training do is it's very intense and long days, and it does take a lot of you. Um, but the guys we have in the team, the guys around you, push you on. So I think the first year for me was like a baptism of fire almost uh, just trying to hang on to the training and get through it and I was improving but I was, wasn't kind of I was just hanging on physically all the time and then the second year was more technical improvement and it's kind of carried me through for the last few years really the world championships winning those obviously brings a lot of confidence to what you're doing so yeah it's been a long journey and lots of ups and downs along the way but um, for me it's all come quite quickly so I haven't had a chance to think too much about it which is probably probably good for me Has it gone pretty much as expected in a way like I suppose this was always the goal to be here today I, I don't think anything's gone as expected I mean when I stopped sailing I never thought I'd <laughs> be the sports team to the Olympics so yeah. uh, I haven't planned any of this really um, obviously it's something you aspire to it's something you train for but for me the training isn't about training to win an Olympic gold medal it's not about training to win it's training just to improve yourself and get better with, with every day every session you want to improve yourself if, that, if that's enough to win medals then that's amazing right. thanks very much Matt Cheers.